If you're the greatest selling rapper of all time, you're gonna have haters. But I'm sure you wouldn't expect them to sneak in the back of your house to attack you. This is exactly what happened to Eminem in his house in Michigan. And as scary as it is, some of the coincidences with his name and the date are kind of funny. Now, it's normal as a celebrity for fans and even haters to approach you and just talk to you face to face. However, 26-year-old man Matthew David Hughes had darker intentions. And yes, you heard the name correctly. His name is Matthew. If you don't understand why the name Matthew has significance, you probably haven't heard the song Stan or Bad Guy. Bad Guy has lyrics that read, sneak all the way around to the back porch man door handles unlocked shouldn't be that easy to do this you don't plan for intruders beforehand that story is about a guy named matthew matthew broke into eminem's house through the back door but the coincidence doesn't end there if you've heard the song stan you recognize the lyrics but you could have signed an autograph for matthew that's my little brother man he's only six years old six years old that came out in 2000 the break-in happened in 2020 the break-in happened when matthew was 26 which would make him six years old when stan came out so the same name and the same age and basically the same exact story as in bad guy too. All of that was predicted before this even happened. But it does get a little scarier when in court it reads that Matthew Hughes was there to kill him. He told Eminem he was there to kill him. At least the detective claims that Eminem says that. And the dude looks like this. How did he even get past the security? It's supposed to be 24-7. And like I said, this was four years ago, so I'd hope that they learned by now, but this could have ended horribly, especially if his intentions were to kill. I'm sure this brings up more questions than answers if you haven't heard this story before, so I'll go into more detail. Basically, like I said, he snuck around the back and he used a stone to break a kitchen window, and he could have gotten in undetected but an alarm went off so the sound of the alarm and the breaking glass is really what saved Eminem apparently the alarm goes off for false alarms all the time so it's not normal for Eminem to overreact in this situation however this time he wanted to go check it out for himself and as Eminem walks through his house he ends up seeing Matthew in his living room standing there when Eminem questions him that's when he says that his intention was to kill him just think of how crazy that would be to make eye contact in your own house with some intruder after the alarm goes off and he says he wants to kill you and how is the security not there before Eminem and if it's 4 a.m., why is Eminem not asleep and how is the security not there before him? The guards came running and grabbed the guy and then the police rushed to the house and Matthew was taken into custody and booked on two charges of first degree home invasion and malicious destruction of a building, obviously because he broke the back window. Now, I would assume Eminem has security cameras or something inside of his house for more security, especially if his security doesn't guard the back and just the front. Maybe that was just a slip up, I don't know. But there doesn't seem to be any evidence besides Eminem's claim that the fact that he threatens to kill him. If they did have evidence, I would assume that it'd be attempted murder. But either way, Eminem was safe, and the most up-to-date info I could find on it was that he's still being held on a $50,000 bond in Macomb County Jail, but that's not a very recent article, so I don't know if anything's changed on that part. But what in the world? I mean, bad guy predicted it, like I said with the lyrics. I'll put him back up on screen. The dude's name was Matthew. Same age. It feels like straight out of a movie, or it feels like a story to hype up an album or something. But no, it's real. There's articles on it. It really did happen, and the dude's in jail right now. Kind of just goes to show that even with security, living in a nice area, all that, people can still get to you. And Eminem was lucky that Matthew wasn't armed or anything, because that could have ended way worse. Some people even said that Eminem was in a gated area where you can't even get in without a code. Then from there, you have to pass security. Other people say he just walked around the house and broke the window. I don't know how you get past all that security without even being noticed. I mean, like I said, Eminem only knew because of the sound of the window breaking and the alarm. Like, if the window was left open, there's a good chance Eminem wouldn't be with us right now. And that's a scary thought. That's a scary thought for all celebrities. It's just, like, the reality they live in. Even walking around in public, always dangerous. We saw it happen to X. The information did end up coming out that Matthew was homeless, which honestly makes it crazier that you can just waddle up around the house and nobody notices. But yeah, don't know if this was a fan or not. This really seems like a mix of a fan and a hater because he's obsessed with Eminem, but he also hates him. But anyway, that's the story on how Eminem's house was broken into a couple years years ago. I hope you learned something. If you want more Eminem videos, subscribe to the channel because I make them all the time. If you want to see a playlist of all my Eminem videos, click right up here. I got a playlist full of tier list, brackets, rankings, info on his new album, all that. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Thank you for watching. Peace out.